Well, I've got a couple of favorite library memories. Um, one as a, as a child growing up, and uh, I didn't grow up in Edmonton, but uh, the library was a focal point where once a week my mother and I would walk to the library. I could, at one point, the librarian there would let me take up to 10 books at a time, <laughs> which was quite a, an accomplishment because not everyone was allowed to take out 10 books at a time, read them, and then come back. Um, most recently, uh, with regards to um, the, the Lois Hole Library, um, it's in the ward I represent, Ward 5, and they held a uh, community resource fair and it gave myself and my staff an opportunity to um, see what other resources are available, uh, as well as to um, meet um, people within my ward and um, to be part of uh, that uh, collective spirit that the library fosters. And uh, so that was, uh, well, that was a great memory. EPL is part of the fabric of, uh, of Edmonton. It's um, had a wonderful history, 100 years. The Edmonton Public Library has been growing and uh, has been providing services and programs that are necessary um, to, um, to Edmontonians. So um, they're an integral part of Edmonton. In the future, I see um, the Edmonton Public Library um, being at the forefront of uh, welcoming newcomers that come to Edmonton, being a place where uh, people gather, whether it's seniors, whether it's um, families with toddlers. You can see that the new libraries are being built as community spaces. Um, so it allows for that interaction. No longer is the library a place where you have to talk in a whisper. And um, it's much more a spot where people can interact um, and where um, communities can get together. Uh, at the same time, um, getting the, the, the information they want, getting the books that they want, um, and the other media uh, that the Edmonton Public Library is providing now as well. Happy birthday, EPL. Thank you for 100 years of being the heart and soul of Edmonton.